There's two ways you can get to the MyOpen Math site. First, you can go to the Brooklyn College website and navigate through several menus. But I wouldn't do it that way. Instead, you can just go to the website, www.myopenmath.com. Now, if you don't already have a MyOpenMath account, you'll need to register as a new student. The accounts are free. All you have to do is submit some information. Your instructor will give you a course ID and an enrollment key that will make sure you're signed up for the correct course. So log in. And you'll get to a page that may look something like this, where over on the left-hand side, we have courses you're taking. It's very important to make sure that you go to the correct course. Now, if you already have a MyOpenMath and need to enroll in a new class, you can enroll in a new class. And your instructor will give you a course ID and an enrollment key to make sure that you're in the right course. So let's say it's winter of 2020 and we're taking Math 1006. We'll go there. So the main page might look something like this. And one of the first things you'll see is a calendar, which includes all sorts of handy information like when homework is due, when quizzes are due, when exams happen, and so on. It's also color-coded. Red is things that are due today. Orange, yellow, and green are things that are due successively later. This uh, angry red says there's a whole bunch of things we have to do today, so let's click on that date and see what's due. And that'll give us information about what's due, though we might have to scroll down to see it. And here we see there's a bunch of homework and a quiz. We'll talk about doing the assessments later. If we keep going down, we'll see all of the chapters and practice exams for both the term exams and for the final. Let's scroll back to take a look at chapter one. And we can open the chapter by clicking on the title. And the chapter is broken down into a couple of sections, so we'll click on a section title. And so now in this section, we can click here to get an online version of the text, which will open up in a new tab. So to get back, we'll just click back on the original tab. We can also get a printable version of the section. And again, this also opens in a new tab, so we can get back by clicking on the original tab. There are also video lectures you can open up. And to close a block, you can click on the triangle. Now, if you keep opening blocks, you can clutter up the screen quite a bit, so it's useful to take advantage of this Isolate button, which will isolate the section. So here, I want to isolate section 1.1, and now just that section is shown. And the navigation bar up here will give us an easier way to navigate around. This tells us we're in section 1.1, and we can navigate back to chapter 1, or to the main course page, or all the way home if you want to switch courses.